You're always asking about hacks? Well, here's another hack. So today we're talking about that Apple credit card. You're always talking, you're in my DM, give me some more sauce, give me some more sauce. I'm giving y'all sauce every single week faithfully. I appreciate y'all for locking in, subscribing to the channel, commenting. I appreciate all the people rock with me. So I'm gonna give y'all this hack real easy, but remember, I need y'all to what? Get a pen, get your pad to write your notes, because you know y'all, y'all like to watch the video. I gotta say, y'all do like the video, y'all give me comments, I appreciate y'all for that. But, y'all like to go on my Instagram DM and ask me the same question that I explained in the video. So, y'all want that Apple credit card? Because they giving out money. And it's a way to get approved for a nice lump sum of money without getting that hard inquiry. So the first thing you're going to do, you got to have an Apple phone. If you don't have an Apple phone, Apple ID, I'm going to let you know this is not going to work for you. So you have Samsung or whatever. So it's not going to work. So Cross that off the list. You have to have an iPhone because you have to have an Apple ID to make this work. So, the first thing you're going to do is that you could do it two ways. You could go to www.apple.com. I'll leave the link above where you can see it. You could go over there. Or you could go straight from your iPhone. And in your iPhones and your settings, you'll see promotions about your know, Apple credit cards and you know you know they always trying to get somebody to apply you could go either way so make your choices I, I, I'm saying this simple so there should be no problems no headaches now let's say you're going through the internet or either way they're gonna ask you for your information they're gonna ask you remember this your Apple ID they will not let you move forward in this process unless you have an Apple ID. Now, once you put this Apple ID in, you can hit the link where it says get pre-approved with no impact to your credit score. You can see that above too. You know, because y'all be sending me messages about that. No hard inquiry if you follow these steps. Find the pre-approval for Apple Card. Once you find that, then you put your Apple ID in. You will go through the process. They ask your name. They ask you all this information. You know that you know you know how these credit cards be. They want your life. They want your soul. This is what they do. But once you do it, you hit that submit. See what you pre-approved for. Two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Yeah. They're giving out 20,000, so you can see that above. 20,000. What they approved me for? L look above it once again. This is what I got approved for. You see that number? Not bad. More money to my pot. Remember, people, we need that money. We're growing that pot, you know? So we can have all these credit cards totaling 100, 200, 300,000, half a million, million dollars. This is the goal. Back to the topic. Once you are pre-approved and you see your amount, at this point, you take a pause. You're going to take a pause, right? Now you're going to call TransUnion up. Credit Bureau, TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. I'm saying it slow. I shouldn't get no messages to my DM about this when I finish this video. You will, remember, you got pre-approved. Okay, you already seen 
the amount they're going to pre-approve you for, you've been approved, boom, 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 pause. Wake up tomorrow or the same day if it's daytime, call TransUnion, let them know, hey, I would like to put a freeze on my TransUnion account, temporary. When I'm ready, I will call back and I will unfreeze it. Make sure they let you know that you do have a freeze on now. Make sure they give you a confirmation. I'm going to explain everything. Once you get your confirmation, at that point, if it's the same day, you can go back onto that site. You got your pre-approval. You got your pre-approval already from the phone or the website, either or. So once you do that, you go back. Now, you already know what you're pre-approved for. You go and apply for this Apple card. Your TransUnion has a freeze on it. You don't have to worry about it. Remember, we're trying to avoid that hard inquiry. So, you're going to go apply for the card. When you apply for the card, you already know you're going to get it. You got pre-approved, you're going to get it. But we're trying to kill two things at one time. We did the pre-approval, we freeze the TransUnion, and we're going to avoid, after we do the full application, we don't get a hard inquiry. Too much damn sauce moving forward. So once you do that, you apply. You get, you, you get your approval. Card is on the way. You're feeling good. You're feeling great. Black Friday's around the corner. You're ready to go spend all that money. Not me. That's what y'all like doing. I don't be wasting my money now. I take that money and reinvest it. But moving on. Once you approve, your card's on the way, everything's looking good, right? You are not going to call back to TransUnion and unfreeze it right away. Because what TransUnion like to do, that they will wait a couple days and they'll still throw it on your credit report. Like for me, I really don't care. As long as I get some money, they could put 20 inquiries on that thing. I don't care. But I'm trying to give you a hack. Double hack today. You're going to wait 30 days. You got your card. You know, you, you got 5, 10, 3,000, whatever it may be. Knowing y'all, y'all already blew it. Hopefully not. And y'all invest, in invest in that money. So you're going to wait about 30 days. Then you will call back TransUnion. And you will call them. Let them know. I like to unfreeze my account now. You're good to go. Everything's back to normal. Because what um, Apple's trying to do is like, let's say you do it and it's frozen. Um, they usually like try to wait like a week, send it again so you can get that inquiry. Two weeks, send that again. By three weeks, they're done. A month, you're straight. You ain't got nothing to worry about. So, there is the pre-approval Apple credit card hack. This is simple. Show you the way to go get pre-approved, and I'll show you the way, once you see your pre-approval, what to do. So, you go back and do the application. Keep that thing, keep that TransUnion frozen for 30 days. Call back, remove it. You got your card. You didn't get a hankery. What more do y'all want, man? What more do y'all want from me? I'm giving y'all every friggin' sauce possibly out there. I'm giving it to y'all. I showed you what I got. Something light. Just add it to the pot. I stay adding it to the pot. I'm trying to get y'all money. My pot is already big. I'm trying to get y'all some money. And I'm showing you the way to do it the right way. So when we finish this video, I better not see 20 and 30 comments. I'm telling you now. I better not see no comments asking, well, what do you do this? I just said it's slow. I can't talk no more slower than that. Listen, take your notes, do what you got to do, and go get that damn money. Again, thank you for liking the video. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I told y'all again, I need y'all to get me to 5,000 subscribers. Get me to 5,000. I'm going to do my first live and I'm going to answer all your questions because y'all got a lot of questions. My DMs <laughs> be like 100 messages in there. I'd be trying to take a day just to answer y'all back. But I'm going to take that one night once I hit 5,000 subscribers and that's it. 
I ain't a big live guy. I'm not really into it. It don't move me. I'm just trying to help y'all. So again, lock in. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Get your ASS off. Stop being lazy and do the work and get the money. Next time, I'll see y'all again. And y'all better get them approvals and send it to my Instagram.